about the 218 Indian nationals that landed at Normanman International Airport in Jamaica um, on Thursday. So the Ministry of National Security released a statement saying that one, they were aware of the flight, two, the flight had permission to land and they were to enter the country legally. However, immigration denied them entry into the island for security concerns. In the statement, they go on to say that the flight is set to return to where they're coming from. However, because of the length of the flight, they have to be grounded for a specific amount of time. And so on humanitarian grounds, they allowed the Indians to leave the airport under security guard to go to their hotel or to roam around Kingston. No. So the Minister of National Security said that he already knew that the flight were going to land in Jamaica. The Minister of National Security, plus Andrew Wellness, said that the plane did not land illegally, but at the end of the day, illegal people were on the plane that were not supposed to land in Jamaica. Me people, what really are going? Because yesterday, them said the plane land illegally, and 200 people upon the plane that are here illegally, I walk up and down. A Jamaica yeah, from Thursday, according to the news, from Thursday, them there Jamaica, I walk up and down, I go all about the place, go shopping and all of them, something there. But according to the Minister of National Security, they were under security. So according to the National Security, them have security, I watch them everywhere them go. People, this doesn't sound right to me. To me, there is something about this plane. Plus people. Man, I understand because the Indian president or something like that call the Jamaican government and rush them up. Tell them to say, stop spread rumors upon them people. Them. them bad them up and do a bag of things, people. So there's a bag of things going on surrounding this plane. But what I wanted to know, did our Jamaican people be concerned and search that plane before they leave Jamaica? Oh, we know that someone will pick me them. No, they panda plane and they are going back. Oh, we know that the trafficking business. It is not that the plane come about. Something in a something. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Including remember Mark Brayden visit a primary, primary school, school the devil and he did way. this. Now my viewers and subscribers, people, we have a lot we have coming so up much coming up in, in this. Office. So guess Update. what? Make we run the intro and come back. We soon forward. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you is a new viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. And people, we are at 90 plus thousand subscribers. So remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as it, all right? So we're going to start off this report with a report from Andrew Wallace where he said, Arrangement in train for safe departure of charter flight USC GMBH. And this is what he said. The Ministry of National Security wishes to update the public on the arrangement in place to supervise the departure of the USC GMBH flight a German registered aircraft carrying 253 passengers, including a um, cruiser member. And he said, please note the following facts. Absolutely no cost were incurred by the Jamaican government. All passengers are accounted for. Passengers were not permitted to land due to two Passengers arriving on the flight undocumented. 
So before the plane did land illegally in a Jamaica, and nobody know about the plane, and nobody never knew say the plane did come to Jamaica. But from the Indian president or some big man from overseas called the Jamaican government, everything changed. Everything changed. Now the flight did permitted, but two passenger on the plane were undocumented so immigration refused the flight so even though immigration refused the flight from coming here the plane still come so that simple means that them still come illegally what happened to those two people that came on the flight undocumented why were they undocumented coming inside of jamaica uno take people for idiot Uno take the Jamaican people feed that. So we want to know why did that plane come to Jamaica? What's the motive of that plane landing here in Jamaica? Is it trafficking? What did they carry to Jamaica? What did they come and pick up here in Jamaica? It have to be something why the Jamaican government are cover it up. How can we trust these people that were set to lead us? To watch over us. Are betraying us. We cannot trust them. Because they are lying to us. First. Them never know about the plane. This plane carry. 250 people come to Jamaica. Them did cut it down and say 218. They gone back. At 250. Who will we believe? If we cannot believe the government. If we cannot trust the government. Who we are going to believe? We cannot trust the national security. Who we are going to trust? We cannot trust these people that are in government. Who are we going to trust? But a report from TVJ came out. And I am going to play that video so you guys can have a better understanding of what I am talking about. So guess what? Check out the video. But remember to leave a like on this video. The Ministry of National Security said Monday's activities at the airport were part of the finalization of arrangements for their departure. The government says the cost of their accommodation and return will be the responsibility of the charter company and not the government of Jamaica. But for many observers, their departure does not mean the end of the matter. And many of the outstanding questions were put to the Ministry of National Security, which admitted that the flight which arrived in Jamaica on Thursday, May 2, received the requisite approvals for operating from the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority. We also spoke exclusively with the managing director of the airline company. His company owns the plane that flew the chartered flight into Jamaica. Until the very day, I don't know. The, the citizens we had on board do not require a visa for Jamaica. We brought them there in good intention. And also to pick them up with good attention, they were then refused. We, until the very day, we do not have a statement from the Jamaican authorities why we are being detained or why we are being delayed to leave again. This is unacceptable, and we have still, up to the very time, received no explanation what is going on. And initially, the flight, and I think this caused some hesitation, the flight was to go there, drop off the passengers, the crew does 14 hours rest, then we would have on ferry flight to Havana, ferry, as I said, empty to Havana. We have some passengers waiting there since a week now to be picked up and to be brought back to their destination. And then we would have returned to pick up these passengers again and bring the phone them back. This was our itinerary. He also feels the Jamaican government breached international law when they impounded the plane on the tarmac at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston, and it is costing them a lot of money. We had to subcharter several aircraft to cover the schedule of the aircraft, which cost us millions of dollars. Or more than one percent. We, we normally calculate in dollars, because oh, well over a million. The Jamaican authorities, while not responding to the airline's boss, say they were alerted to the operation of the flight based on what appeared to be anomalies and missing details from its initial permit application. Additionally, the authorities indicated there were two passengers on the flight who did not appear on the passenger manifest. This led to investigations by PICA, and based on those checks, the decision was taken by immigration officials not to grant the passengers leave to land in Jamaica. But concerned Jamaicans are asking, why were the passengers then allowed to roam the streets of downtown Kingston given all the red flags? Our news center captured images of them shopping, sightseeing, and enjoying downtown Kingston on Sunday. 
The government said they were to be under police guard, but we did not see any police officers with them. The Minister of National Security, in response to why they were allowed to leave the airport's precincts, explained that given the duration of the flight, as well as civil aviation regulations for the minimum rest period, they decided it was impractical to have the passengers wait in the plane or at the airport. They were therefore allowed to leave the airport on humanitarian grounds and go to Rock Hotel in downtown Kingston, where they had reservations. Them said the plane land Thursday, them said the plane land Friday. We don't know which day the plane land, but yeah, the plane land. And according to them, the reason why the plane never go back the same day is because of certain things. The people are tired by the plane and them need for rest and all of them something there. Oh no, no, so the government I want, hey, the government I want, hey, people, the government of Jamaica is something different, you know. I wonder if he mean involved in anything that happened with that plane. I wonder if he's a part of the arrangement with that special flight, the mystery flight that came to Jamaica. Me just can't seem to understand why would these people keep covering up this flight. So we have an update about the 218 Indian nationals that landed at Normanman International Airport in Jamaica. Um, on Thursday. So the Ministry of National Security released a statement saying that one, they were aware of the flight, two, the flight had permission to land and they were to enter the country legally. However, immigration denied them entry into the island for security concerns. In the statement, they go on to say that the flight is set to return to where they're coming from. However, because of the length of the flight, they have to be grounded for a specific amount of time. And so on humanitarian grounds, they allowed the Indians to leave the airport under security guard to go to their hotel or to roam around Kingston. Now, me never born a night. I was never born last night. Matter of fact, I was born 12.45 p.m. in a middle day. Somebody is lying. Either TVJ News is lying or the Ministry of National Security is lying. Because the story is not adding up, what was the purpose of the visit? How long were they going to be staying in the island? Who chartered the flight and why did the chartered company pay for the hotel? And which country owner ever hear deny persons enter into them country and then allow said persons for left the airport go roam the city? And go check in at the hotel where them did book. Go relax up themselves until a time for them flights. For go back at them yard. Also, the Ministry of National Security say it's 253 persons being sent back. So where the extra 35 people come from? Are those flight crew? Which plane no 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 have 35 crew members? Can't hold 35 crew members. So where the extra people them come from? This have too much too much holes in other story, yeah. And when I not allow them to roam Kingston, how that work? You know, tell them, say, all right, five o'clock on a meet up back at the point here for go back up at the airport. All, all, the, all the logistics of that work. Also, what is this humanitarian grounds when I allow people to roam the country? Because as far as me know it, when the Haitians them touch Jamaican soil, I don't not even allow them to come off of the beach before you round them up and carry them where you carry them. So where is the humanitarian grounds of compassion for the Haitians then when them land? Are the humanitarian grounds only extend when convenient? This is giving indentured labor. This I give indentured servants. I have a theory that flight was chartered by a business person for come work on a project in a Jamaica because guess what Indian labor a cheap labor cheaper than Jamaican labor right now especially with the increase in minimum wage this is just a theory but something go wrong with the airport whoever did the link what it's supposed to allow them to enter nain allow them to enter something never work out this so and I don't think it's the first that this is being done, but at the first way it comes to light. But anyway, if Uno satisfied with the Ministry of National Security statement, who is me or who am I to have an issue with it? You know what I understand neither. I don't understand how it comes out of the airport never full of people surround that plane and nobody can stop them. Just to make sure say our children are not leaving on that plane. Because if you notice every single day, you hear say we picnic them gone missing. We look at young girls and we look at young boys them gone missing and we don't understand. 
This can be trafficking in a people. This can be trafficking of human. So it can be human trafficking people. We don't know why these people came to our beautiful island. We don't know. But yes, still they were here. And when they just came here, the government, the national security, all of them did a bad. But once the people them call the Jamaican government, I don't know what I go on. I don't know if they buy them out. Give them a piece of food. Because you know, say few people them love sell out already. You know. um, I don't know what I go on. I don't know how the deal go. But all I know is that our government get calm. Our national security get calm. The only people me hear about up, about up, about up himself about this thing is the opposition party and a few concerning residents or citizens of Jamaica. But we all should be concerned. Because remember the last time one plane come and it drop out of the sky. Then you hear a chick V the grown and people just say drop down and all of them something. There. Me know so no forget them time the people. Me wait all day for do this video because me want to hear something sensible come out from the Jamaican government and from the minister, Ministry of National Security. So me wait all day for make a video. But at the end of the day, night come down and yet still I don't even hear nothing sensible coming from our government. The only thing Mr. Andrew Wallace did was put up the same post that I read to you guys. And his Instagram explaining to the people about don't follow the opposition party. They are just making mischief. I know they make mischief of the Jamaican people. They want to know. Because remember, when Jamaican left Jamaica and they come back in this country, they get a warm time. They get a warm time. And if them think they can carry down nothing from foreign and who do not charge them, they make a sad mistake. But yet still 250 other passengers landing our country. We don't know them. We don't know why them come here. And the Jamaican government just let them in so free. Which them said the plane was illegally land in here in Jamaica. But nothing no come out tight. More than the Indian government bad up. And Joe Wallace. And Joe Wallace have a legal people. Them. Eh? Come on, man. Illegal immigrant, man. But yet still you now have a for Yeti. Yet still when Yetian come here, when the Yetian them hide and come here, because war are they going in the country? And starvation are going in the country. You push them out of the country back, you push them back. You is not a good person, your heart dirty, your heart is wicked, it dark. Your heart dark. And sometimes I really wonder if you are a human being, Mr. Holiness. I wonder if you are a human being and the one of them call him Horace Chang. I wonder if they are human being. But, let me tell you something. God not sleep. And the whole lot of you to get exposed in the most wickedest way. Just remember that. Anything will come upon the plane. Anything will come upon the plane. Or anything will plane come pick up. God will reveal soon. God will reveal very soon. Remember that. Remember, say God will reveal it soon. When it's a wicked set of people. How the fuck they come off of the plane in a hotel upon Jamaican streets and walk up and down like them at Jamaican cities? If me, Jamaican, left ya, and me come back ya, and me go to immigration, then dig up my nastiness like me in a Jamaican citizen. Then dig we up like we in a Jamaican citizen and see the blood clad illegal people in a come here. See the illegal plane land ya. And the people them ah oh, for the plane, oh, for the all America, eh? Hey. Me no know, you know. Me no know how oh, Jamaica stay safe, you know. Yo, more like me want pack up my blood class, sit in my move, I find some people in, you know. If you want one driver's license, you know, one we have to go through to get my fucking Jamaican driver's license, you know. If you left your country, matter of fact, you left Jamaica, and you come back in. I come back and you look nice things then. Then they charge your arm and a leg and then dig up you. They want to know your address where you go. They want to know where you live and see the illegal plane there. See the illegal plane come here. See the illegal plane come here. And then they're walking free in Kingston right now. They're on the street walking freely. Like the police, nobody now watch them. 
And we, the Jamaican citizen, when we left here, we're going to look better and come back. We're spending money here. We're going to treat you like we are shit. Remember, me tell you, I'm sorry for we, you know. I'm sorry for we. Remember, me tell you that. Now, uh, I wonder if our people of this land, Jamaica, we love them. Now I'm going to be smart. Now I'm going to wise up. Now I'm going to come together as one. And stop from colorblind. And let us fight for our beautiful Jamaica. Because when I get left out, you know. When I, left, when I get left out on our own country. And these people, they found out that on a love politics. Not even politics like on a love. Those people more than on a self. Them find out on a like people that have money. And have power in them man. I don't like on own black brother and black sister with a struggle. So what them do? Them use that to take advantage of the whole of them. Because, you see, if someone never did colorblind, then you don't see the wickedness of the government that do to you know. If no one never did so colorblind, you don't see the wickedness of the government that do to you know. You never hear about the man that did a little good, but a whole heap of bad. But no matter the amount of bad way him do, nobody no see it because him can do little bit of good for him. Andrew one is that. Him came around and him buy on a little flour and a little rice and chicken with his sweet talk. But he still, him a do the worst. Him a do the worst. And the only time him care about him is when he come on to politics, politics time. Only the politics time alone him care about the people of Jamaica. Remember a few years ago how oh, this man deal with me because no election never the nearby. Remember when this man locked down the country four corner. Four, four, four corner. So no movements. Nobody never come out. Lock up people because people come out of their house. If you even in your front yard and police are coming lock up you. And guess what happened after that? He moved the country to keep him anniversary and him birthday party. Just to do that. Then he locked down by the country. And then a few people in his party keep sitting. And he walked back the country for that. And he locked it down back again. Then, because him said the people in the film side in them time there, he did have the people in his hand. He called the general election. He no business. Him call the general election. Everybody can go bungle up and wire that now. You know. Remember, you know, a few weeks ago, you know, nobody couldn't go against them one another, you know. But in the general election, you have crowd thick like a wow. You have crowd thick like a porridge. Yes, them can bungle up. So hold well, on, the virus never did a go around them time day. The virus never did a go around them time day. Then the man goes up bam and him try to force the vaccine from people, knowing that the vaccine no good. It is poisonous. I don't want to tell me say, Ono can't see the wickedness now this man face it. Ono can't see how the man face just have any wickedness stand up in a mig light and can't move. Some owner just no business, you know. Some owner just no business. But I could check out this video from Dr. Led. As a person who acts as the voice of the average Jamaican citizens who wouldn't have otherwise had their concerns heard or addressed, I want some clarification surrounding that mysterious chartered flight that landed in Jamaica last Friday. The authorities of Jamaica, please explain to us how did a flight containing 218 unidentified passengers, not including crew members landed in Jamaica without a passenger manifest without any prior authorization without any plans of landing in Jamaica not only that so if for instance they wanted fuel so they had to land okay we give you a pass on that how did these 218 people get to the plane that aircraft how did they get through customs and immigration we don't know who they are unidentified not only that how did they make it to the streets of Jamaica and into a four-star hotel in Jamaica? Are you telling me that the rules that governs our immigration system 
and border protection system only applies to the Haitians? Who are the ones behind these operations? Why is it that this morning the, tra uh, the traffic, air traffic people at the airports are still there? The airport director is still there. The police officers are still there. The customs officers are still there. The, 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 the ground handling crews are still there. Why is it that it is business as usual? In an already troubled nation like Jamaica, we now have 218 unidentified individuals, unmonitored individuals who are supposed to be detained by our immigration system, roam in the streets. We don't know who they are. We can't identify them. We don't know their mission. And we must feel safe as a people. Explain to me, why is it when the little sailboats land or dock over there in Portland with a few Haitians aboard, our brothers, our sisters, we treat them like garbage? Send them back on their way. But why is it okay for us to admit 218 people that we cannot even identify? Show us the passenger manifest. Show us the immigration and custom declaration forms. Show us the landing, legal landing of all these 218 passengers. And then we will admit that you did a good job. And then we will accept you as good leaders. As of now, our system is considered flawed. Flawed. Nowhere in this world you hear that people enter a nation legally. <laughs> Illegally. Nowhere in this world. You come go to America to seek asylum, you gotta go through ICE. That's the procedure. So why is it that illegally landing people into Jamaica can go roam the street and sleep in five-star hotels and eat whatever meal they want and hang out with whoever they want to hang out with and buy what they want to buy and the general population of Jamaica must feel safe amidst all of this you leaders need to come out and address the public at least create a little clarity around this we are lost we have never seen anything like this in history now, one of the last things we are going to look at inside this update is Mark Golin celebrating Read Across Jamaica Day by sharing the joy of reading. It was wonderful to join the bright minds of Miss Tucker's second grade class at Irish Gully Primary in the constituency. Now, I am going to check out what Mark Golden had to say, and you can see Mark Golden reading to these uh, children, my viewers and my subscribers. All right, so without wasting the time, let us check this video, people. But leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. All right, the adventures in Manners Hill Valley that's what the name of the book is. Ad the adventures in Manners Hill Valley and it's written by somebody called Basilia Barnaby Cuff <clears throat> and in fact it's signed by her the lady who wrote the book wrote this message in her says enjoy your adventure and she signed it that's very nice mm -hmm. All right, so I will start the reading now. This is um, grade two, right? Okay, grade two, cool, all right. So, once upon a time, in a beautiful forest, there were two little girls called Bree and Bella, who lived with their mom and dad. See them there? Bree and Bella. They live in a forest. Bree and Bella love to play. They enjoyed playing with the butterflies, singing with the birds, 
and playing hide and seek behind the huge mahogany trees. However, there was a part of the forest in which they had never played before. Their mom and dad had told them that unless they were sure they knew how to use the phrases please, thank you, and excuse me, they should not go to that side of the land. So they have to be able to say please, thank you, and excuse me, and how to use it if they're going to go to that part of the forest which they'd never been to before. That part of the forest was called Manas Hill Valley. It had the most beautiful flowers ever seen. Fluffy green grass and little waterfalls where children could play and have a grand time. Only a few people had ever been to Manas Hill Valley. And oh, the joy that filled their faces when they spoke about their experiences there. I wonder what's going to happen. Bree and Bella were curious. Anybody knows what curious means? Who thinks they know? Tell me what it means. If you're curious, you want to know the answer to something. If you want to know something or the answer to something, you're curious about it. All right? So Bree and Bella were curious. They really wanted to experience a side of the forest that they had never been to before. And so each day they practice with each other, their friends, neighbors, and parents. Excuse me, thank you, please. One day, Bree and Bella were playing in their backyard treehouse. Bree said to Bella, I think we are ready to go to Manners Hill Valley because we know how to use our phrases correctly. This is when they were practicing. Excuse me, thank you, please. So they think they're ready to go to the Manners Hill Valley. Let's see. And told them about the adventure they wanted to go on. And with huge smiles, their parents asked, Are you sure you know how to use please, thank you, and excuse me the right way? And without hesitation, both girls said, yes. But first, they had to pack their lunches, snacks, and juices to take along the journey. So here they are, getting ready to go on their journey to Manas Hill Valley. I hope they know how to use please, thank you, and excuse me the right way. Because if they don't, who knows what will happen? As they were about to leave, their mom shouted, Have fun. If you don't use your words correctly, you will not be let in, and you'll have to come back home. But if you do, a beautiful playground awaits you. The girls were excited and started their journey just before midday. As they skipped and laughed on their way to Manners Hill Valley, all they could think of was the adventure that awaited them. As long as they remembered how to use the phrases, please, thank you, and excuse me the right way. So here they are, setting off on their journey with their lunch all packed up. After a few minutes, they were there, so they didn't have to go far. Manas Hill Valley had a huge sign made out of flowers which said, If you use please, thank you, and excuse me the right way, you will be allowed to enter and play all day. The girls were excited and walked up to the gate, but it was locked. Bree, who was the older of the two, shouted, Anybody home? That's them at the gate. The gate to Manas Hill Valley. So she shouted, anybody home? Then out of nowhere, a voice said, ha, 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 yes, we are here. Your adventure awaits. What's the sentence that will open Manners Hill's gates? 
Is it, excuse me, open the gate, thank you, open the gate, or please open the gate? Which one do you think is the right one? I think you're ready to go to Manazil Valley yourselves. <laughs> the girls shouted, please open the gate. And to the sound of the most beautiful music, the gates began to open. Bree and Bella screamed with excitement and ran in.